Members of the Tennessee Board of Education made a stop in our region this morning. Yeah, they spoke with teachers, administrators, and local school board members at Science Hill High School in Johnson City. The goal to hear uh, uh, from those educators about their concerns because some of our state lawmakers were there and all of this is coming as questions are circulating about rejecting federal education funding. John Janko was there this morning, joined us in the studio with more on what they talked about. Hey, John. Casey, those local educators told the state board members their thoughts on several topics, including the third grade retention law and addressing teacher shortages. While the federal education funding debate wasn't mentioned during panels at that meeting, state representatives Tim Hicks and Rebecca Alexander told me it would be tough to leave that money on the table. It's a lot of money and it would be very hard to turn down for me because here in Northeast Tennessee, uh, you know, I, I believe that we need all the funding we can get. As a group of Tennessee lawmakers ask questions about rejecting millions in federal education funding, local representatives Tim Hicks and Rebecca Alexander say the General Assembly needs to be careful. The state has to be able to replace that money if they're not going to get it from the federal government. Alexander says the funding makes several important programs possible, programs that Johnson City Schools considers vital. We also have free and reduced lunch funding. We have special education funding and Title I funding at our highest poverty elementary schools. A teacher panel at the meeting brought up the difficulties schools face during the first year of Tennessee's third grade retention law. Hicks says he expects lawmakers to look at potential revisions to the law in the upcoming session. Before that, he says more preparation for the TCAP English Language Arts exam is needed as early as pre-K. That's where we really need to, to look to, to, to gain an advantage and get these students up to par to where they're ready for the third grade test. And a possible solution to Tennessee's teacher shortage in the math department. Educators discussed making the exams teachers take for their education licenses more specific. That's an effort that would relieve some of the burden for teachers and allow easier movement to fill positions positions of need. Science, you already take a test for biology or for chemistry, so it's already specialized, so maybe making math a little more specialized in the assessments that are given uh, at the state level. Representative Hicks says he has filed a bill the last two years to address teacher shortages in CTE. He says that bill would allow people licensed in CTE fields to teach without having to get an education degree.